Um, <clears throat> listen, a lot has happened in the month that I haven't uploaded. It's a new year, according to the Gregorian calendar. So happy 2023. I have traveled to two places and then come back to Boston. I had all these plans for Vlogmas, I really did. I was gonna upload like eight videos. I uploaded two. But anyway, today, let me get my tea. Okay. The purpose of today's video is to talk a little bit about 2023. Usually I'm one of those people who on New Year's Eve really likes to take like a few hours and kind of reflect on the, the past year, make plans and goals for the new year and enter, the, you know, enter the next year, like ready to go, ready to just like hit the ground running. And this year I decided not to do that. I had a really fun New Year's Eve with one of my best friends, shout out to Jessica. And, you know, just kind of enjoyed the ball dropping, enjoyed moving into 2023 without really setting a ton of expectations or pressure on myself to kind of immediately start working on things. Um, <clears throat> Another thing about timing is that, again, this is the new year according to the Gregorian calendar. And for me, January, February has always marked lots of opportunities for kind of new beginnings. Well, obviously there's the, the Gregorian new year that happens on January 1st, but I also, my birthday is in January. Um, so my birthday is on January 19th and I feel like that is also a time for me to reflect on the year, like the previous year. And then the other thing that I also remind myself of too is that I celebrate Lunar New Year. That falls on different days depending on the lunar calendar, but this year that falls on the 26th, I wanna say, like it's it's earlier this year. I just feel like all of these things are good reminders for me, for, for you, that time really is a construct, first of all, but time really does, you know, you can place meaning on whatever holidays, dates, times, that you want to. And so just because you're not immediately starting to plan everything, you know, on and be ready by like January 1st, it's fine. Like you have so many options. I'm ready to start my year planning. I guess it does kind of make sense to have overarching year long intentions or goals because there are things that I need to be accomplishing this year. Okay, 2023, what should I call it? Intentions, intentions. Happy New Year, my little Happy New Year sticker. Shoot, but it's not the year of the ox. That's okay. It's gonna go on here anyway. Okay, I think I have my intentions. I'm gonna set some broad goals too. I'll just read off a few, I guess. Hopefully this is like interesting, I don't know. I think I set intentions correctly according to the website that I was looking at. It says that they're kind of how you wanna feel. So I went with that. My intentions this year are to kind of reconnect with movement and just feel good about movement again. I want to be more confident in my research and who I am as a researcher. I would like to try and be a little bit more happy and content, I guess, and appreciative of where I am instead of like where I am now, instead of constantly worrying about the next thing and knowing that I can be happy and content with where I am, even as I'm working towards, you know, something else. I want to be more present, really hoping to try and just feel a little bit more connected and intentional to about, you know, everything that I'm doing and where I am and who I am. I would also like to find more joy in the everyday. I remind myself of how like lucky and privileged and grateful I am to have a life that is predictably, it's just like very predictable and almost, I guess you could say boring. I would also like to be a little bit more patient as this relates to other people, but I think more broadly, just being more patient with myself knowing that, that what I want and what is meant for me will come to me, will make its way to me when it's supposed to, and trusting 
that trusting that it won't miss me. Along with that, having more wisdom and acceptance at and with things that do miss me because that sometimes it can be hard when what you thought you wanted or something that you can acknowledge that you really wanted doesn't happen or it doesn't happen when you want it to happen. So trying to have more, more wisdom and acceptance in those moments as well. And then not being afraid to fail. This is a big one for me, not being afraid to look stupid or be seen trying is like a common phrase too that I know Tummy has said, that um, Evelyn from the internet has said. Just really leaning into this more this year, I think, because so often I get in my own head about things and I worry about what other people are thinking. When in reality, like, they're usually not really thinking about me and I need to like remember that. And also just removing the, the kind of stigma around failure and being more okay with it, I think is, is gonna be really important. Then my goals, my 2023 goals are to defend my dissertation proposal, which is going to happen because I need it to happen in order to receive fourth year funding. So that will be happening. Form a committee that I can really lean on who will mentor and guide me in the next steps of my, my PhD journey, my research journey. I would also like to start saving more money again. I have a number in my head that I'm like thinking of. I think I can do it, but I also feel like within this next year, there's going to be some shifts and changes with work. I'm not gonna push myself too hard in that regard if it doesn't make sense, but I would really like to save more money. I would also like to plan, actively plan for a retirement. What this means, I'm it basically, I'm trying to figure out like how I can start planning for my retirement now, even if I don't have a company where I am able to save retirement with, I want to look into options that a freelancer can do to start saving for retirement and just be a little bit more intentional about that. Something else I would like to do is figure out my next steps as it relates to work and just my career. So whether this means I continue, you know, continue with my like consulting and contract work, or if I, again, try to find a, a full-time job, I just would like to really figure out what my next, my next career move is. I would also like to keep up with my language, especially Chinese and Spanish. I would also like to keep creating as long as it remains fun for me and brings me joy. I've gone back and forth a lot about my like Instagram, my blog, my YouTube channel since starting all of these things. And I have these moments where sometimes I feel like feel embarrassed and like, want to delete everything and just become anonymous. But I really want to remember that um, I, I do have fun when I do this and that that's the whole point of it is just to like have fun, meet new people, just build, you know, build out my community more. Related to this, I would also like to buy a vlog camera. Right now I film everything on my phone and I think like my phone camera is great. But there's just moments where it would be great to have multiple cameras to shoot like B-roll or just other things, just having a crisper image. And so I would love to, yeah, I would love to buy a better, uh, just buy a, a camera. I think that'd be really fun. Just like cool to have that technology. And then I'd also want to learn a new editing system or software. And then finally, oh, I would like to cook more. So yeah, I think those are my broad goals. Now let's plan out my quarter one goals. Quarter one feels orange to me. Going to do some home ball, some money. So we want some money this quarter. What I have for my quarter one goal, so this is January, February, and March. Take Korean lessons, learn Hangul, one of the alphabets, and then get semi-conversational, which maybe is a little bit lofty. I would like to be able to say very basic things and understand very basic things for when I travel there. I want to lessen, oh my God, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> lessen my Spanish lessons, like decrease the frequency of them to every other week, but I would still like to keep up with it because um, I don't want to like 
regress too much in my Spanish. And then I also want to just maintain what I'm doing with my Chinese, finish reviewing and reviewing, learning the HSK four words, and then take a practice test for HSK one, two, three, and four. Cooking, I would like to try to cook one new dish. So I have three months to cook one new dish and I think I can do it. Reading, I would like to try and read one book. Like I'm being very, very realistic about my reading, like my for fun reading goals this year. I remember there was one year that I was like, oh, I'm gonna try and read 52 books this year. I don't know what was wrong with me. Creative stuff, I just wanna keep making things. Again, no, no number attached to this, but I just wanna keep making stuff. And then less attention on like numbers as it relates to social media, especially like Instagram, YouTube, whatever, but just, just make stuff and have fun. Don't worry about it. Money wise, I would like to get my taxes done and pay whatever I owe before I go to Korea. And then I wrote maintain my savings. I think I should be able to do that. I want to try and save a little bit of separate money for Korea. Um, so I might try to do like some sort of savings challenge. Movement, I just want to figure out if I want to join a gym this year and then act accordingly. I would also like to get my committee as together as possible, like officially solidified, even if it's not complete. I would like to have like in writing people committing to being on my committee and I would like to try and get a draft of my proposal together. And then general <laughs> general vibes and well-being, less late night overthinking. Also, I'm gonna try my best with like no social media past 10 o'clock, especially like Monday to Friday. And a big piece of this is to not take my phone to bed with me because when I take my phone like into my bed, I'm like on it for hours. And so I would like to leave it on my dresser and just try my best to disconnect and go to sleep. I also want to just kind of, there's something that I've already been thinking about more is like, at the risk of sounding a little too woo woo for some people, I've been thinking more about like my present self and then my future self. And oftentimes I'm someone that has really struggled previously with procrastination, but oftentimes when I procrastinate or I choose to do something that appeases um, present Emily, I'm doing it at the detriment of future Emily. And so something I've, I've been trying to do is when I catch myself like not doing what I know I should be doing, I have been trying to ask myself like, is this helpful to future Emily? This is not always universally applicable because sometimes um, the needs of your present self, like if you're sick, are more important than your future self. Or like, I guess you could argue that taking care of your present self is actually going to be beneficial to your future self. You know, like if you're sick, you wanna take care of yourself in the moment instead of pushing yourself to do work. I'm just trying to think more about future Emily. And what I'm doing right now is that in service to future Emily. And if the answer is no, then trying to course correct in that moment and do something that will benefit future me. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to have these like quarterly planning videos. Maybe this could be like something, <laughs> another series, but like maybe this could be something that I do every quarter. I'm feeling semi-positive about this new year and I wanna hold on to that energy. I hope that however you all are feeling um, as you enter this kind of new season, that you're being patient with yourself and you know, just ultimately like do what works for you. There's gonna be a lot of different people and companies and um, just other outside voices telling you that you need to like follow their method, buy their product, buy their course. And I just encourage you to, at the end of the day, always return to what will work best for you. Remember yourself, I guess is what I'm trying to say in this season. So I hope that you have a really good start to your 2023. I hope you have a great quarter one and I am excited to check back in with you all at the end of March.